Hi, I'm Jean Luc. I'm Nick. And, and we're, we're the, the WWE Gays. And this is another WWE Gays hack. Well, what's our hack this time, hun? It's substitutions ooh, today. Ooh. So we get to ask this a lot. Um, and we know how popular substitutions are in the WWE world. Yeah, right? so, so for us, it's been instrumental. One of the things that we learned from the get go when we started this journey is that by substituting some of these ingredients in our food and our recipes, we were able to lower the points and still enjoy things that we love at a reduced point uh, yeah. value. And it's not as if you're having the exact same flavors as you originally would make with the higher points, but it's something that could satisfy that craving yeah. and that gratification of having something that you are indulging in, but when you really aren't. So that's one of the things with our recipes. For example, like we have the carrot poutine recipe on our website. I still allow myself one a month, a regular poutine at a restaurant because I love them, but I don't have them all the time anymore. I have a substitute at home that I eat instead whenever I have a craving. So now instead of talking about substitute foods this time, we're actually talking about the actual ingredients ingredients. that we use and how we substitute them. So we're, I love how you say that Ingredients. I always pluralize ingredients. <laughs> I don't know why. It just, it's a French thing. I love that he says that. Every I time do it all the time. It, yeah. I love how he has, ha, always has to tell me I'm doing it wrong. Because it's funny to me. It's like, it's like, I love you too, honey. Well, I love you too. That's, uh, that's besides the point. So basically, one of the first things we're going to start off with is yogurt. Great yogurt, 0% fat free Greek yogurt, zero points. We use that beep on everything. Purple and blue, zero points. And there's so many uses for this guy. It's replaced our sour cream. Yeah. It's replaced our milk in a lot of for, products. For dips, yeah, for milk. So let's explain that. You're yeah, so that. what I've done is I've already taken, I've taken yogurt before. I've added water to it to clarify it a little bit. And it's now become a more milky substance. And, still and then points. that way it's still zero points. And I'm you can and add it to marinara sauce to make a rosé, you can add it to uh, some parmesan cheese to make uh, alfredo sauce. You can make so much things by just thinning out your yogurt. Of course, the two ingredient dough uses the yogurt as well, which is another good substitute. Yep. Uh, you can use it for dips, for uh, uh, either a fruit dip or a veggie, veggie dip. dip. You can buy spices, just add to it, and then you can go with high spice, you can add sriracha to it to create a spice. Uh, create a dip. We have you tons can add of recipes. envelopes of Hidden Valley Ranch or, uh, you know, and add it to there. Boom, you have a ranch dressing for zero points. So yogurt is your friend. Uh, you can use it so many ways. You can do it, you can use it in the desserts, in savory dishes. We use it in a lot of our recipes. So if you have not started embracing yogurt, and we do get a lot of people saying, I, I don't like the taste. Look at different brands. Yes, because each brand tastes different, yeah. and each brand has a different consistency. We are huge fans of the, the PC, PC Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt. We love this one. We also like the uh, triple X or triple, triple zero, triple, triple zero. zero. Yeah. Um, and and that's uh, isn't that. Uh, I don't remember the brand Brands. of that one, unfortunately. But for example, we tried Astro Greek yogurt. No, no complaints to that. No, we didn't like it. It wasn't our favorite. Exactly. So we try. like these ones because they're thicker. We, yeah. we prefer a thicker Greek yogurt. Yeah. So the next thing people have mentioned and other people have said, we don't, we ha we've used it before, we yeah. just don't have any on hand, is applesauce. Yeah. Using applesauce instead of oil when baking and things yeah. like and that. And desserts, especially if you're trying to replace something in a dessert that's more of a buttery, oily type substance, usually you can just swap out the applesauce and uh, replace it in that recipe so you can still have the same consistency of whatever you're trying to build. Exactly. The next thing we like to use as well is we like to use lettuce, head yeah. lettuce, romaine lettuce, and we, or even they have bib lettuce out there that yeah. you can use. We use it as buns. Yeah, so you, if you're having a wrap, if you're having a burger, instead of using a full uh, bun, which is sometimes some could be up to eight points, six, eight points, if you replace it with a lettuce leaf at zero points, you still get the texture because I know for people who are bread, uh, bread fans, this might not work. But for people like us, who bread is not the most important thing, we have it's a vessel. A while. It's I, a we we yeah. always treat bread as a vessel to carry something that we really want to exactly, eat. Exactly, right? If we go out to have a real burger, we will we have, have a, a bun. Real but what we're saying is at home, when we're at home, we don't need to have that bread. It's not necessary. So we actually use this it's instead. Just, it helps not make the food as messy and not have to eat it with a knife and fork. Yeah. The next one I want to talk about is Beauvre, which you spin on one of our and favorite you things. you know this. Definitely we use this. Look, honey, this, you're a Beauvre bottle. I'm a Beauvre bottle. Just look at on my head. Uh, uh, sit there. There you go. Talk. Okay. So, hi, my name is Beauvre, and I like being put in ground turkey or chicken <laughs> to make me taste like beef. To make it Want taste some, like honey? beef. Want some, honey? No, I don't think that would be no, good to eat that way. Good. But <laughs> it's great when you put it in your ground turkey or your ground chicken. It actually makes it taste like, like beef. beef. So you're playing a trick on your mind. So it's a great substitution. So that way, zero points for the turkey and ground bacon, uh, ground bacon, ground chicken. turkey and ground chicken. Yeah. And by adding this, boom, you can have a 
beef burger, yeah. right? It's been instrumental for us because we actually don't like ground turkey and ground chicken burgers. We actually used to not eat them at all because it was every time we, we tried, tried it, it, it just, we hated it. Yep. So we still used to use extra lean ground beef, but then when we started the journey this time, we're like, hey, we have to find a we way. We have to, to embrace it somehow. Embrace it somehow. And this was our savior. And I know a lot of people have used this as and shepherd's pie. And shepherd's pie, it's great. It is high in sodium, so yes. you don't use a lot, but it is still, for the amount of, um, for the amount of meat you put it in, yeah, it you shouldn't it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, and a lot of people have asked, yes, there's MSG in this, so of course, please make sure you only buy products that you want to use. Again, we like to, we always tell everyone some of our substitutes people would not use yes. because there's there's artificial sweeteners, there's uh, either extra sugar, or and there's everybody more fat. is different, and that's okay. Yeah. Everybody is on their own personal journey, exactly, and you have to find what works for you. And do not attack others for their no. choices because that's their choice. That's their choice. And your choice is your exactly. choice. You can educate and say, you know, did you know by the way that this is like this? And yeah. if a person says, says, yes, I know, but this works for me, let them have it. It's, if it's helped them on their journey, why are we there to attack them exactly. or make them, you know, question what they're doing? So the next thing that we're going to talk about a little bit is spices. Just yeah. making sure you're not afraid of using we spices. We can bring them out because there's a huge there's cupboard. There's a huge cupboard, but I will pull some of these. Even finding pre-made um, packaging of these types of spices here. This is fantastic. It's yeah. great to add to your meals, to add flavors. We need to do a favorite thing on that. And we should totally do a favorite thing. And then also that. our clubhouse spices, like you guys know, these are all zero point, most, well, most are zero point. So if you're trying to add flavor, you can use spices to do almost anything. Just like we said earlier with the yogurt, you take yogurt, you take butter chicken spices, those tikka masala spices, you can create Asian, uh, Asian. Indian dishes that you can create at home using yogurt so you're not using butter and, and the creams and things that are heavier. Next substitution that we wanna talk about reminds you about soda stream. So instead of buying pop or buying all of these carbonated drinks, you can get a soda stream machine and these are zero point flavors that you can add to your root soda beer. stream. Root beer, diet root beer, diet cola, these Eat are grapefruit. all zero. This is grapefruit, but as you can see, it's a zero. So you make yourself fizzy water, but flavor. Great and substitution for when you want to have an alcoholic beverage. And, and, nice and the same range, the same range uh, buying stuff like Neo water enhancers is another way to replace juice. Yep. It's another substitution you can do, even when you're building recipes that ask for juice. Like I know sometimes Jean-Luc, when you're having an alcoholic beverage, he'll take water, put in a Neo or something that has flavor and add, add vodka to I it. I might even add Neo to a pre-existing can of cooler that is flavored, but these are low in points. They're only four points for the entire can, but by adding a little bit of a meal, know it is yeah, this one here is a gin and soda, zero sugar, it's tailspin. It's not a substitution. It's not a substitution, well you know. but by adding the Mio to it, it adds a little bit of sweetness that this would not normally have. Again, zero sugar. Again, guys, this journey is not about eating food that are stale or are boring no. or flavorless. It's about creating ways to make it flavorful with things that are lower points. And the way that you enjoy it. Yeah. So another thing too is cauliflower rice. We know, everybody knows how to use cauliflower rice, I'm assuming. It's a staple. We use it in stir fries, chicken fried, uh, chicken fried rice substitutes. We even mash our own rice. So we make our own cauliflower mash and we add carrots to it and boom, that's a substitution for mashed potatoes. Yeah. We use mashed cauliflower on our shepherd's pie. Yeah. Substitution right there. Yeah. No points, zero point shepherd's pie. Well, it's actually one, one point. One point, because we add laughing, laughing cow, cow cheese. It, but that, that recipe's on the website yeah. as well. Another thing too is cashew milk, almond milk, all of the non-milk milk products. Yeah, they're lower in points. So for this specific brand, it's one point per serving, as opposed to three points per serving, so one cup. He's on, now a box um, of uh, cashew milk. It looks like a shirt. I know, that's, a that's hilarious. So yeah, so that so you can use this as a substitute for milk in recipes. And I know if you're, you're saying, well, I don't like drinking cashew milk. We've actually stopped drinking milk. That's something yeah. that we've eliminated from our, our journey because it's something that we, we don't like drinking our points. That's just no. who we are as people, except if it's, it's alcoholic beverages. That's a little like- Or if we're making a nice creamy, like dessert yeah, shake of yeah. some kind. We'll so use so cashew having milk. cashew milk allows you to make these things that with less points. So it's something that you look into if you're trying to use uh, milky type products yeah. in your recipes. You can even add that to your yogurt to thin out your yogurt and you don't need a lot of it because if you use less than what the portion is, it's still zero points, thins out your you yogurt the portion. and you can make you know that creamy milky substance that you need in cakes possibly in all sorts of things. So yeah. the possibilities are endless. Next thing is using broth. Yes. A lot of people don't think about this, but broth can be used in so many ways. You don't need to just boil things in broth or you know make rice in broth. But 
you can like steam your vegetables in broth. Yeah, you can actually put your vegetables in a frying pan and use, use the broth a little bit of broth instead of oil mm -hmm. to make everything not stick. You can use it with your meats. You can use it with so many different things to. So it's a base for a lot of different things. I actually made cauliflower and carrot mash yesterday, and instead of just boiling it in water, I boiled it in broth so that way the cauliflower and carrot got flavored. It was delicious. And then I kept that broth. And now I'm going to cook my quinoa in that broth. Yeah, we're probably going to release the, the mashed carrot cauliflower at some Very point soon, because a few people have been asking yeah. about that. So. so the next thing on the list is balsamic drizzle, which is something I do not use. I use this all the time. I use any kind. This is one of the brands I like right now. It's a, um, this is the strawberry and fig brand. I love using this on my vegetables, my steam veggies, just as a drizzle. It gives great flavor. It's a glaze, so there is sugar in this. Uh, it's for 10 milliliters, and I don't even use 10 milliliters when I actually yeah. do it. I literally just do a strand of it. I put it down as zero points. Um, I would check your label. But I would check your label for this, for the one you buy, because every single one is different. But it's great to put on top of your corn. It's great to put it on top of any vegetable. It's great to put on a piece of meat. Yeah. Another good substitution is avocado. So mm -hmm. avocado, even though there's points to it, a lot of people are like, oh, it's, it's good fat. It's good fat. So if you want to use avocado as a replacement for mayonnaise, mm -hmm. uh, if you want to use avocado in your dips, things like that, it's a good thing to add that creaminess. If you don't want to eat pasta with it, there's so many ways you can use the avocado to enhance a dish. And keep into, take into consideration the amount of avocado and all the other ingredients you're making. So if you are making guacamole and you're only using one avocado with some Greek yogurt, how much of the guacamole are you gonna eat unless you sit there and eat the entire bowl? Right? Yeah. You said ingredients again. I can't. Every time you say it, you make me giggle like a little schoolgirl. Anyways, the next thing is sauces, sugar free sauces, and syrups. Um, these are two examples of sugar free syrups, the Da Vinci brand, right, honey? Would you get these mm -hmm. ones? These ones were purchased at the low carb grocery store. Okay, so these are amazing. The were purchased there too. Yes, so what Ajali mm -hmm. uses these in his coffee. I use as, them, yeah. as well as we use them in desserts. Yep. We use them when we were baking. Um, it's a way to add flavor to uh, even yogurt if you want to make your yogurt have a specific mm -hmm. flavor. Um, today we were on a call and Lynn Bordage, hi Lynn, said that she actually found a recipe where you take this, she took this syrup along with some yogurt, some apples, and... Pine, crushed pineapple, and it tasted like a caramel apple, apple. like a caramel apple dessert, which so, I'm curious, I want to so try. So you can do so many things with this. And same with the sugar-free syrups and uh, uh, barbecue sauces and sauces. Yeah. Anything you can find, if you can go through a grocery store and you find something where the serving size says it's zero point, get it. Try use it out. It. Try it out, because that's... And it doesn't mean that you have to use it in its regular st state. You can add to it to make it more flavorful, to add different flavors to it. Yeah. I've added um, the zero point maple syrup to my barbecue sauce because I didn't find it sweet enough. So yeah. you can always manipulate these ingredients to still make it work for you. And what's, what's great, guys, is that with all these sauces out there, a lot of us are like, whoa, it always says two tablespoons. The serving size on all most products is yes, actually yes. usually enough for what you're eating. And I know that's shocking. If you actually sat down and everything you started, you started spraying or adding as a sauce to your meals, if you started measuring just the serving size, first of all, the amount of points you would save, yep. your waistline would start reducing because Definitely. there's so much sugar and salt in these products yep. that by just using the serving size, it'll help you so much on your journey. You will so, be surprised to see how much sauce is left on your plate, yeah. even after you, when you use the actual portion size. When even when we stop tracking, because we are honest guys, we're not good trackers. When we stop tracking because life happens, one of the things that we always stick to is serving serving sizes. No matter what, mm -hmm. cup of pasta, a tablespoon of sauce, or a tablespoon of butter, we do not steer from that because we know that that's still keeping in track with this long-term journey that we're on right now. Exactly. The next substitution that we use, we are very big with Splenda. We love the regular white Splenda, and I also love the brown sugar. We've had this bag of brown sugar Splenda for quite some time. I always usually tie it up with a clip. Yeah. I untie it so you can see it. Yeah. But I'm saying this because we don't use it that often, but when we want that sweetness, this is what we're gonna go to, yeah. and it works for us. Yeah, there's, other, there's other kinds there's, too. Th yes, there's, um, there's monk fruit, there's stevia. Yeah. I'm sure there's plenty of other ones, so find which one works for you. And if you wanna use real sugar, use, use real, real sugar. sugar. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. You need to make sure that you are taking and making all the decisions and making all the decisions and including everything you want to include in your journey. Yeah, this is all about you. This is all about figuring out what you enjoy, what you like, 
but finding ways to have these things in the lower point form. And again, like I said earlier, it's not about eliminating those foods. No, you can still have them. The problem is with a lot of us is that we can't control ourselves with these foods. I can have pizza every day if I wanted to. Like, yeah. I, I would say, yes, give me pizza every day. I can day. have Chinese food every day. But what would that cause is I would gain weight because that's not a very healthy meal. It's all full of oil. It's full of things that are not healthy for me. So instead, we create a healthier version at home. We have our uh, And our, we still don't have that healthy version every day. Exactly. But we have it more often than the unhealthy exactly. version. Exactly. And we, but we still treat ourselves once in a while to the real Chinese food, to the real pizza. You have to enjoy and, life. And I hate calling it the real because what we make at home is also real, but the authentic, yes. let's say. Yeah. The one where you don't have to make it yourself, let's yeah. say. The one I said you have to call. Yeah. And yeah. Or you go into the restaurant. Yeah. So the next one we want to talk about is different noodle, noodle types. So all of us grew up with the regular wheat noodles, you know, the, the pasta. pasta, regular pastas that you buy at the store. With blanched white flour, yeah. the white flour pastas, or, you know, however, we've now strayed away from those completely. We don't buy those at all We anymore. don't buy them at all. We buy all our pasta at the bulk barn. We are very big fans of uh, Go, 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 Quinoa. Go Go Quinoa brand. Yeah. And so at, bulk, at the bulk barn, you can buy them in bulk. So there's a macaroni, uh, which is two colored. Um, there's this little ring. circular ring, which we love. And, and then, then there's, there's a, a fusilli. fusilli. And so we buy these because they also have spaghetti noodles. They have different, there's not only the quinoa noodles, there's also red lentil noodles, there's black, bean, black noodles. bean noodles. There's so many flavors and different things that they use to make. There's even whole wheat ones if you want to buy those. And actually, we had, we had, we had bought fettuccine. Yes, we had bought the whole, I think we still have some actually, actually now that some. I think about it. So, so it's, it's, it's about just venturing out and trying different noodles. And why are we speaking about this substitution? And you don't even need to do a noodle. You can do a vegetable. The yes. zoodles are very popular, Zucchini which noodles. works just as well. Zucchini, yeah. sweet potatoes. We've done beet noodles. Beet noodles. Yeah. We've done, um, didn't we do the, um, oh, spaghetti squash. Yeah, there's another one right there. Substitution. Yeah. So wh there's a reason why we bring up the actual other types of noodles and why we no longer have um, regular pasta. We always talk to people about the three lists, three zero point, food, three zero food point, Oh my God, three. The list of zero, zero point, point foods on all, all three plans. plans. Wow, that's hard to say. Say that five times for fast. And the reason we bring it up is because we always tell people when you're doing this journey, always look at those zero, food, zero point food lists. They're very important. If you are on blue like we are, we have quinoa pasta or a whole wheat pasta because they are zero point on purple. That means WW put them on that list because they are a healthier grain. They are better for you than regular pasta. So if you're thinking you want pasta tonight, look around, find different noodles that you might want to try. Mm -hmm. Even if it's the exact same points, a cup of rice, of white rice is the same points of a cup of brown rice or quinoa, but white rice is on the list. So use that as, as a way to drive your meals. And the other noodle substitution that I completely forgot about was the konjac noodles that a lot of people are really enjoying, yeah. which I'm not sure how they're made. I, I, I believe it's a mushroom. We, we, didn't, we didn't enjoy it. Um, it wasn't for us. Yeah. I didn't mind it but it wasn't my favorite i would I prefer like going with the quinoa nick, nick didn't like it at all yeah. and then there's the new noodles the nu noodles as well if i'm yeah. not mistaken new pasta. which is the new pasta which is very similar that to the konjac okay. and those weren't as it, it, it had a different texture but yeah. try things out because it's so worth it yeah and so the last thing we want to mention too is premier protein yeah so premier protein is a good way for you to substitute uh creaming your coffee and um, you can use it in your recipes as well because it's high in protein it gives you it fills you up i heard a rumor you can freeze it and you can make like yogurt pot, like a premier protein ice cream in a sense yeah so that's something we want to try out because yeah. we haven't ever tried that out yet so again these are all ways that you can substitute things so all these ingredients can take you can take your current recipes today things you love like name a recipe right now and see what you can use in this to swap out and if you guys have other substitution ideas please share them in the comments below there are plenty of substitutions out there that we don't use and that we don't even know about so we'd love to hear what you guys have to say and what you guys use in your recipes and how you substitute things out and a shout out to our group thank you for those in our group that all helped us com combine this entire list a lot of these things we already used ourselves that we thought some of, of them we completely forgot, some about. Them we forgot so about thank you for reminding us as yeah. well so thanks again for watching this video i hope you enjoyed our ww hacks um, next week's episode will be about grocery shopping. Yay, yay! So we'll show you how we prepare for groceries and how we make our list and check it twice and cross things off. And don't forget to check us out on all social media by using hashtag WWGays. You can find us on our website at WWGays.com. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button below. And please share our videos. You help us out all the time by sharing our content. Enjoy! Bye! Bye, everybody.